Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Health Checks, a cron job monitoring service in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now we can run apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the Docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group changes to take effect. Now we'll create some working directories for our containers to store persistent data, then create a new Docker network called containers. We'll use wget to download the default .m file for health checks, then generate a random 32 character string. Copy the generated string to your clipboard, then using the nano editor, we'll edit the .m file we just downloaded. Scroll to the end of the file, then update the secret key value using the random string in your clipboard. Now scroll back to the top of the file and set the allowed host's value to an asterisk. Then using the video description as a guide, set the db underscore values to configure the Postgres database connection. And finally, set the default from email as well as the email host variables to configure health checks email settings. Next, press Ctrl W and search for the string localhost. Replace all instances of localhost with the DNS name or IP address of the Docker host. Once completed, save the changes to the file and close the nano editor. Back in the terminal, we'll set ownership of our working directories. Then using docker run, we'll start a Postgres database backend container. Followed by another docker run command to start the health checks container. We'll use the docker exec command to connect to a shell inside the health checks container. Then we'll execute a command to create a new super user. Follow the prompts to enter an email address and password. With the super user created, we can exit the health check shell. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 8000. Log in using the email address and password we entered during the create super user command. Welcome to Health Checks, running containerized inside Docker.